Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, maybe your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Rock Lee, the Lotus of the Leaf, and Speed of Sound Sonic, the Sadistic Speedster. Which of Fiction's quickest ninjas will strike first in this fight to the death? This is Universes. Rock Lee is quite a unique ninja. Most other ninja know some skills called ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu, but Rock Lee happened to struggle quite a bit with those first and third types of jutsu. Taijutsu seemed to be all he had, and because of this he often became the target of much teasing from his peers. Normally, constant verbal abuse like this would really get to someone, but not Rock Lee. While everyone else was busy laughing at him, Lee was off training to become stronger in taijutsu. If it was all he had, then he was going to make it the best it could possibly be and none of it would have been possible without his teacher, Might Guy. Together, these two bull-headed, bushy, eyebrowed taijutsu users would train and unlock the secrets of this powerful art, both becoming legendary ninja. Some may consider Lee's need to rely on taijutsu a disadvantage, but that's what makes him a winner. So this taijutsu I keep rambling on about, what is it exactly? Well, ninjutsu relies on transformation, whether it be changing yourself or your chakra, while genjutsu is based on the mind and illusion. So that clearly leaves taijutsu being anything physical. Punching, kicking, and all kinds of martial arts, even including the drunken fist style. Lee is a total expert in this skill, becoming one of the ninja world's greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighters. Despite Lee's inability to use other jutsu, he can still use chakra to help his taijutsu by running on water or up solid surfaces like walls and trees. He also uses it to perform some signature techniques. There's the leaf hurricane, and then the primary lotus. For the Lotus, Lee strikes his enemy from below, sending them up to the sky with a series of kicks before wrapping them up so they can't brace themselves when he slams them back down on the ground with a powerful dive bomb. And if that doesn't work, Lee still has a few tricks up his sleeves in the form of the Eight Gates. Opening them will allow Lee's chakra to flow wild and free, which puts a huge strain on his body, but has a big payoff with the massive increase he'd gain in speed and strength. All this variety in hand-to-hand -hand combat alone is quite impressive. Thanks to Taijutsu training, Lee is also incredibly fast. Even in his early years, he was able to blitz the likes of Sasuke and Gara, whose own sand could barely react to his movements. That should put Lee at hypersonic right from the start, and he's got plenty more. Even in current times, Lee is regarded as one of the fastest ninja out there, and as such should be comparable to other speedsters like Naruto and Sasuke in their base forms, who can reach speeds of Mach 3000 to 4000. He should get even faster though, as this is before he even opens his gates or removes his ankle weights, which would lighten his load a lot. Speaking of the eight gates though, they increase his power too. Normally, Lee is comparable to other ninja who reach town levels of strength, but by the sixth gate, he was able to help shatter a mountain level meteor. He did have some help though, but even divided among all the ninjas that assisted, the power Lee displayed here is still city level at the very least. You underestimated Lee at the start of this, didn't you? I bet you feel silly now. Now I will be able to move freely! Come on, you really think you'll be able to get through Gara's defenses just by dropping a couple of pounds of weight? <laughs> Like most One Punch Man characters, not much is known about Sonic's origin. There's nothing really known about him before he was once a bodyguard for a villain, but even that didn't last long. After being defeated and humiliated by the hero for fun, Saitama, Sonic quit and dedicated his time to training for revenge. And that's pretty much it for Sonic in terms of backstory. I mean, I guess there was some stuff in between, like that mini-arc that lasted for one episode about him trying to get over his fear of Saitama, but there's not much to talk about there. I uh, guess it wouldn't hurt to make up a story. <laughs> Since there aren't a lot of major ninjas in the One Punch Man world, and judging by the backstories of other characters, I assume that Sonic was simply just a huge fan of TV shows and movies that happened to star ninjas. And since his name is Sonic, for some reason he decided to become a ninja specifically speedy? Yeah, I'm not good at this. So let's just get right into his abilities. As a ninja, Sonic is incredibly stealthy. Although he exposes himself to his foes a lot, they don't really notice him until he does so, and when his foes do see him, he makes sure that it's the last thing they'll ever see as he cuts them down with his sword at blinding speeds. 
This sword is called the Ninjato. It's so sharp that it can cut through bones like butter. He can also throw kunai knives for quick takedowns, and finally with his shurikens he completes the generic ninja weaponry trio. However, regular shurikens aren't all he has. There are, of course, smokescreen shurikens to aid him in making sneaky and quick retreats if his life is in a threatening situation. There are exploding shuriken that detonate upon impact, and last but not least, homing exploding shurikens. These do the same things as the regular exploding ones, except they can chase foes or target specific areas. Sonic can throw a massive barrage of these wildly in an attack he calls Hail of Carnage. Combine all this with some martial arts and the ability to create up to 10 shadow after images, and you've got yourself one versatile speedster. But how does he stack up in a world where the One Punch Man exists? Pretty well, actually. Sonic has proven that he can pretty much fight on par with Genos, which should grant him speeds of around Mach 4000, as that's where most of the top heroes like Genos rank. Not only that, but Genos can cover multiple city blocks with his fire, vaporize buildings in a single blast, and take on demon level threats. These types of threats typically reach city levels of power. To prove it's consistent, he held his own against the Sea King, who can create a storm with his power. A team member behind One Punch Man even stated that Sonic would have been capable of defeating Sea King if he had one of his ninja weapons, which unfortunately he didn't have at the time. I mean, after seeing the damage his exploding shurikens from the Hail of Carnage attack can cause, I'd believe it. To prove this even further, yep, we're still going, Sonic has survived a couple casual hits from Saitama, which often one-shots these demon level threats. This cocky ninja just wants to blitz Saitama so bad. But will he have better luck with Lee? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. I speed of sound Sonic, the ultimate ninja, will not rest until I have brought you down! Hey, so uh, we got a fucking prediction in, in the universe. Uh, we got a, uh, we got the fucking, we got the fucking rock bull hut, bull haircut fucking guy versus the uh, fucking Fucking Sonic the fucking ninja. All right, so uh, first of all, we're gonna go with durability. Um, Ro Ro Rock Lee, that sounds pretty hard. I mean, he's got a. It sounds like he, he's got a. He's got, he's got some rocking hard deal of durability. But re remember when uh, when uh, fucking Saitama when fucking punched him in the cock and it's you know it kind of hurt him. But Rock Lee, that's the that kind of sounds like the nickname for rock hard cock. So I'm uh. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Rock Lee for durability. Let's fucking look at this uh, Rock Lee guy fighting this fucking this fucking sand person. Fuck, you know I hate sand. It's cold. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh look at him. Uh, it looks pretty fast. Oh shit, I can I can barely see what, see where he's going. All right, let's, let's look at this fucking faggot fight. Holy shit. Oh damn, he looks... Oh sh... I, I mean, he, he doesn't... I mean, he just got in the rocks. He could've ran away. Oh shit. He's just a dog. Oh shit, wait, let's see. I mean, that wasn't that long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead... I'm gonna go ahead and say the rock, uh, rock hard cock Lee is gonna... is, is, uh, is faster. Let's Cause, uh, I mean, he, and also fucking, he, he fucking hit the sand person, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for, uh, okay, let's talk about strength, uh, uh, fuck, uh, fucking hot. What is, what is, uh, how, how strong is, is, is rock talk? Hey, let's check on my pizza real quick. Oh, look, I think it's, it's done here, let's. Let's get it out of the oven. Oh okay, god, we get, you know, we don't want my, we don't want my pizza to burn. Okay. There we go, we got my pizza. There we go, got my, got my pizza out of the oven. Alright, let's go back to the, to the universe. Fuck. Okay, so after I thought about it, uh, I don't, I don't need to see strength because rocks, rocks are strong. His rock cock is strong. And the fucking and Sonic the Ninja can can barely fucking you know run past a bunch of rocks a big in a big fucking row and so I don't think he's gonna be able to run past his rock cock that good so I'm gonna go with the rock with the rock cock we uh uh but bye I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna play Overwatch and the results are in the winner is. 
Broccoli! Now this was freakishly hard to decide. Typically, all my super close matches are when fighters are more down to earth and closer to human levels and stats. But I've never had a matchup so difficult to figure out that was this high in power. So hopefully my case for Rock Lee makes sense. Now regularly, Rock Lee is able to keep up with many of the top shinobi he grew up with, which should put him at about town level. Meanwhile, Sonic can take on demon level threats who can reach city levels of power. Rock Lee keeping up and likely being faster than those shinobi puts him at around Mach 3000 to 4000, while Sonic keeping pace with Genos puts him at around Mach 4000 too. So what would be the problem here? It actually seems like Sonic should win considering the small lead in strength and speed scaling from Genos, plus with him having the arsenal advantage with all of his ninja weapons. It almost seems as if his victory should be guaranteed. But here's the thing about that. Those were Rock Lee's absolute lowest stats possible, his absolute base stats before even taking off his ankle weights. Removing those would most definitely make his Mach 4000 high end speed solid as he gains a massive boost without them. You're also forgetting something else, that's just from removing some weights. We haven't even gotten into his upgrades. That's right, I'm talking about the 8 gates. Even opening a single one was enough to go from barely getting through Gara's sand to totally blitzing it in speed. And Lee's got 8 of these. By the 6th gate, Rock Lee was able to assist in shattering a mountain level meteor. Since he had help, the divided power came out to at least city level. At least. Which means that's from lowballing the feat. So don't try to make the argument that Sonic is as strong as 6 gates Rock Lee since city level is Sonic's maximum while it's 6 gates Rock Lee's minimum. Rock Lee could very well reach mountain level anyways with the more mid to high end of the feat. Plus, Rock Lee later went on to gain the ability of opening the 7th gate, which should logically be even more powerful. Now of course, you could bring up Sonic's ninja weapons again. His sword, his kunai, his shuriken, but Rock Lee has dealt with all that generic ninja weaponry constantly, even the exploding ones. He may have to strain himself to reach and surpass Sonic, but he still is reaching and surpassing him. The winner is... Rock Lee! I will become so strong that Guy Sensei can smile at me with pride, because that is my way of the Shinobi! Get ready for the next battle.